Cat6 HDMI extenders. Will these things allow you to have longer camera cables for your A10 Mini and A10 Mini Pro? That's what we're testing out on today's video. And before we test these things, I wanted to do something to say thank you for those of you that have subscribed and turned on the notification bell. So I've hidden two Amazon US gift codes somewhere in this video. First to find them and redeem them, get the cash. And if you're watching this and the codes have already been redeemed, I'll be doing more stuff like this in the future. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can be first next time. Right, on with the video. The A10 Mini and A10 Mini Pro are Blackmagic's pocket-sized production switches. They pack a punch, they're full of features, but they are still HDMI based and HDMI has a limited range. It's usually recommended with HDMI not to exceed five meters or 15 feet. I personally in the past have been comfortable using double that with very high quality cable, but even then you're only getting 32 feet or so. And so you're extremely limited with how far away your camera can be from your A10 mini or your A10 mini pro. Cat6 HDMI extenders like these allow you to send an HDMI signal over long distances. These particular units that I bought from Amazon say that they will send an HDMI signal up to 50 meters over a single Cat6 cable. They come with a transmitter unit and a receiver unit and you plug the HDMI from your camera into the HDMI input on the transmitter unit. You plug the HDMI output on the receiver unit to one of your inputs on your A10 mini or A10 mini pro and then you connect the two up via a Cat6 cable. And once you've done that you should get a full quality audio and video signal up to 60 frames per second with zero added latency using these things. But will it work? Let's plug them in and find out. Okay, to talk you through the setup that I've got right here, I've got my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera here and I've plugged it into power and also the HDMI is just going into the Cat6 transmission unit here. And the interesting thing about these units is you only actually need to give power to the TX unit here and that will then provide power over the Cat6 cable to the receiver. And I've got the receiver here plugged in via HDMI all the way around here to my A10 Mini Pro and it's plugged into source number three. The final thing I need to do is to plug in my Cat6 cable. I'm gonna start small. I've got a 10 meter, 32 foot Cat6 cable to start with. So let me plug in one side. This is the receiver side first. Now let me plug in the transmission. Okay, so they're both hooked up. Let's now cut to camera three and see if it's there. And there it is. We can see the picture quality is great. We're getting its full 1080, uh, 50 feet feed that I'm sending out of this Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Uh, let me see if I get my ATEM software control. We can do a picture in picture. We can sort of test the latency as well. So let me bring on the picture in picture. There it is. So you can see as I'm Moving around here, everything's in sync. There's no added latency. And cut to it full screen again. So that works and you can tell the quality is just exactly the same as if you had actually plugged in directly via uh, an HDMI cable, but we are extending it here currently 10 meters via these Cat6 HDMI extenders. Let's try something with a little longer and I think I'm gonna put the camera outside. Okay, so the setup now is the same for the receiver. I've swapped out the Cat6 cable for a 30 meter Cat6 cable now. And it goes all the way around here, down the back of the TV. And then I've got it running outside here, across my patio. And then you can see I actually uh, had more cable than I needed here. So there's ample cable and loads left. And then I've actually powered the transmitter unit here using a VLOC battery that I had just coming out of the DTAP. And then the HDMI is connected directly to the camera. So let's see if this works. That's all plugged in using a 30 meter Cat6 cable. Let's press the button and see if it's there. It is, so that is a live shot right now. If I flip back to me and bring it on picture in picture, that's a live shot right now using the Cat6 HDMI extenders uh, and I can see if I go full screen again, the quality looks just exactly the same. I'm not seeing any degradation. I'll take a proper look at this in, in the edit to, so I can see it on a big screen and see if there is any degradation. But from what I can see in this little screen here, 
I'm not seeing any degradation at, at all. And you can see that's a live shot. Uh, I was about to say you can see the trees moving. Yeah, they are a little bit because it's, it's a little bit windy out there. Um, but that works. That's over 30 meters. And unfortunately, I don't have a longer Cat6 cable than that to test. And there are some of these HDMI extenders that run over Cat7, so can do even greater distances than 50 meters. But I just picked up the Cat6 uh, extender, which allows up to 50 meters, this particular unit. So that does work. Now there is one caveat that I want to talk about. I bought the camera back inside here. It's still connected using the Cat6 HDMI extenders because I want to talk about one thing that might be important for you watching this right now. You remember when Blackmagic announced the A10 Mini Pro, they also announced another feature for both the A10 Mini and the A10 Mini Pro, which allows those two units to send data back to the camera for things like tally light, camera control, and also color correction. And for that to happen, it all happens over one HDMI cable. So the camera sends the audio and video down the HDMI cable to the A10 mini and the A10 mini sends back up the HDMI cable, all of that ancillary data. Now look what happens when I add in the HDMI extenders and I bring the camera on air. We're not seeing any tally light, but when I connect up just using HDMI and then I bring the camera on air, you can see as I bring it on and off air, that ancillary data is being pushed back to the camera and we're seeing the tally light appear. And I also have full camera and color control using the ATEM software. That's one thing to note if you are a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera user with the ATEM Mini series, that if you do use these Cat6 extenders, it is just one way. It's just sending the audio and video. You're not gonna get that ancillary data back to the camera. But for most people, this won't be a deal breaker because this feature only works on Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. So if like me, you're using a variety of different cameras, I'm shooting with a Sony right now, you didn't even have that feature to begin with. The final thing I wanna say on this is, would I recommend this method? And my answer to that is, it depends. And it depends mainly on your budget and how much you can afford to invest in your broadcasting equipment. I would always recommend, if you can afford it, converting to SDI. SDI is a broadcast standard. You're not gonna have any reliability issues. And if you wanna to stick to all Blackmagic, Blackmagic do do HDMI to SDI and SDI to HDMI converters. But I do realize that that is a costly option, especially when you add up the cost of the converters themselves, plus the cable that you need. It's expensive. And knowing that a lot of my audience are those who are building either home studios or church setups and things like that, you might not have the budget for that. So this is a more budget friendly way that you can use and it will give you 99.9% .9 of what you need until one day, hopefully the funds do come about that you can then upgrade to an SDI based workflow. So if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Remember I've given away two Amazon gift codes in this video and I'll be doing more in the future as well. So make sure you're first on the videos by turning on that notification bell. And lastly, if uh, you wanna see different or similar stuff on the channel, let me know what you wanna see. I'm taking requests, put them in the comments below. And uh, if you found this video useful, the chances are someone else that has an A10 mini will find it useful too. So please do remember to share this video out as well. And once you've done all that, guys, I'll see you on the next one.